Okay, what we've got here today, this is an O1E transmission. Okay, this is one of the last years. This is out of a 2003 A4 V6, or commonly called a B6 A4. This is a GBE transmission. In 2002, they had, it was called an FYF. You might be able to find some of these GBEs on a 2004 A4, but they're rare. Now the main difference between this transmission and an FYF is a speed sensor. So if you're putting this in a small chassis car, you need the speed sensor. So here's the difference. This is your sensor, and this is just a plug on a GBE. This came off an FYF transmission. Now this side cover is exactly the same as that side cover. The only difference is this. This side cover is an O1E 409131B. They both have the same identical part number. So what we're going to do is show you how this comes apart and what you can do. I mean, you could just take this sensor off. This is an Allen. It's a number six. You pull the bolt, this slides right out. Next up, these are T45 Torx, and there's 10 of them. Now, when I go to take them off, I take them off in a cross hatch. Because that's the way I put them back on, and that's the way you're supposed to put them back on. Okay, now, on this flange, there's a little flange up here at the top, and there's two of them at the bottom. Now, these flanges have an O-ring seal. Unlike rear differentials that use silicone, this uses an O-ring. So it's not too hard to get this off unless you live in a, in a rust belt where this gets rust between it. So if you're going to use it, use a brass drift. And you get it started. Now, if you need to, and it's, and it's tighter, you can tilt this transmission up, and you can get to the bottom two flanges we showed you earlier. See? Not too hard to come off if you live in California. So again, what we have, FYF, GBE, this just pops out. Now, usually there's a little, this here holds a flange that comes over and holds this on. Not so much on the GBE. So that's there, and that's your speed sensor. And again, there's a little piece of metal that screws in there and holds this on. I don't have it because I broke it. This is what goes on your transmission so that this sensor over here on the f on the side cover can read it. Now, as you can tell, there's two little tits in it. They fit right here. So you line it up and you press it on and then you put your side cover on and then you have a speed sensor. So we're just putting back together. Now, when you do this, this needs to be lined up with this at an angle. If you try to put it on here, these bolts will not line up. You start a couple of bolts by hand. In this way, when you put them in by hand, you're assuring that your side cover 
is going on properly. It's all lined up. You're not going to have have to drive these bolts in to make sure the cover's on. If you get it crooked, they won't go in. If you tilt this, these are not symmetrical. If you tilt this, like here, some of these bolts won't go in. So you'll know whether or not you've got it started right. Now these get torqued later. So when I screw them in, I just put this on number one. Well, hold on. After you get your bolts lined up, using your bolts as a guide to drive on the cover. Again, these get torqued on after you're done. And they get torqued to uh, 18 foot-pounds. Again, cross hatchet. You got your drive flange. This is geared, okay? So it goes, it fits into the gears inside your differential. Really easy. Now this center bolt is torqued to seven pounds plus a quarter turn. Okay, so Again, you got your piece that fits on your differential. It's called a speed drive gear. I like to call it a hall sensor because it's basically just magnets. It's an 012409187D as in dog. The speed sensor is an 012409191D. These are my thoughts. This is what I do. You don't have to.